Welcome to the third session dedicated to the critical path method. In the previous session, I calculated the early start and the early finish of the project for all the activities. Now we will start at the end of the project and calculate back towards the start. And during these calculations, we will find the late start and late finish of all the activities. We call this the backward pass. Let's have a look at the backward pass. Here you see the precedence diagram with the early start and early finish information. On the left bottom, you see again the legend related to the node. We are interested this time in the late start and the late finish. You will see them as red numbers under the activity nodes. The late finish of the project will be equal to the early finish. This is not always the case. Sometimes we have more time, sometimes we have less time, but we will start with this simple exercise. When we calculate back from April the, April the 15th, we see that we cannot start with task J later than April the 13th. If we would start later than April the 13th, the project will not finish on April the 15th. We can calculate this using the top formula, the relationship between late start and late finish is given by the expression late start is equal to the late finish minus the duration plus 1. So 15 minus 3 plus 1 is equal to 13. Now we have to see to the predecessors, G and H. The predecessor cannot finish later than April the 12th because if the predecessor G will finish later than April the 12th, J cannot start on April the 13th and the project will be late. The same is valid for task H. Now let's have a look at task G again. We can calculate the late start by applying the formula, which is 12 minus 3 plus 1, which is 10. So task G cannot start later than April the 10th. The same we can do for task H and we get the same result because they both have the same duration. Now let's have a look at the predecessors of activity G. We have C and D, but D has also the predecessor H. So first C. C cannot finish later than April the 9th. We have 10 minus 1 is 9. That's the second formula. If activity C would start later than April the 9th, activity G cannot start on the 10th, and so on, the project will be late. Now for activity D, we see that there are two possibilities, so we have to look at G and H, but we see that both of them have the same late start date, so it will have no effect on the late finish date of activity D. So it will also be April the 9th. Activity D has to be finished by April the 9th at 5 p.m. We can continue with our calculations and we find that activity C cannot start later than April the 7th. Activity D cannot start later than April 8th. And now we can have a look at activities E and F. Again, they are predecessors of H, so their late finish cannot be more than 9. And activity E should 
not start later than April the 5th. For activity F, like I said, the same late finish date as activity E, and the late start date of F is April the 8th. Now we have to look at the activities A and B. For A, what do we see? We have three possibilities, 7, 8 and 5. So the late start and the late finish date relate to the lowest one of those numbers. So A cannot finish later than April the 4th. And activity B, the same, 5 is the lowest number between 5 and 8. So B cannot finish later than 4th of April. For A, when we calculate back, A cannot start later than April the 3rd, B, April the 4th, and April the 1st. Great job. See you next session.